this video there was so much information on this video that I was not aware about it <laughs> Welcome to my channel. We learn together. Uh, this is your host Harish, and today we are going to learn about the incredible facts about the city Bahrain. Uh, it's the video called 15 Things You Didn't Know About the City Bahrain. This video is originally uploaded by Alex King. I would suggest you to go to their website, give them a like button, and subscribe them. Also, if you like this video, don't forget hit the like button share your feedback in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel for new video plate dates let's go fifteen things you didn't know about Bahrain welcome to alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired Hello Alexers, we're very excited to have you with us today as we talk about one of the most exotic places in the Middle East, Bahrain. Bahrain is a place full of surprises and contradictions. The skyline of the city of Manama shows the old, having minarets and mosques, plus the stylish skyscrapers. A shopping journey to the souk market features various wares such as luxurious fabrics, jewelry of many descriptions, regional fashions and exotic spices from locally grown produce. For the sport lovers, Bahrain provides thoroughbred horse racing, world-class golf programs, and lots of scuba diving sites. Other must-see tourist attractions are the Arad Fort, Al Kamis Mosque, Bahrain's Portuguese Fort, Muharraq Island, Royal Tombs, and the Oil Well. Bahrain is known for its scorching summers, where temperatures can reach up to 45 degrees Celsius, and the apparent temperature along with humidity can be as high as 50 degrees Celsius. One of the earliest cradles of civilization, with the archaeological legacy of 5,000 years, this island served as a very important strategic spot due to its location in the Persian Gulf. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Bahrain is the Saudi version of Vegas. The main draw is alcohol, and Saudis cross the bridge to party and spend the night in the bars and clubs. Alright Aluxers, it's time to take a trip! Here are 15 things you didn't know about Bahrain. Number 1. Bahrain could be the Garden of Eden. It's thought by some to be the Garden of Eden due to Eden's supposed resemblance to the ancient land of Dilmun, which many scholars accept to be the area encompassing Bahrain. In addition to freshwater wells, which were once in abundance, there are places in the sea north of Bahrain where fresh water bubbles up in the middle of the salt water. And the island of Bahrain has more to add to this history. In the sandy center of the island lies thousands of little hillocks, each some 10 to 15 feet high and packed tightly together. They look like sand dunes, but the hillocks are really man-made grave mounds. Bahrain, the original Garden of Eden, is also an ancient island necropolis. There have been a number of claims as to the actual geographic location of the Garden of Eden, though many of these have little or no connection to the text of Genesis. Most experts put the garden somewhere in the Middle East. Number 2. It's only 46 years old. Though it's been an important jigsaw piece on the political map of the Middle East for many centuries, Bahrain has been an independent nation for less than half a century. It declared and achieved nationhood in 1971, fending off claims to sovereignty from the Shah of Iran and joining both the United Nations and the Arab League in the same year. Number 3. It staged the first Grand Prix in the Middle East. The Bahrain Grand Prix of 2004 was seismic. It was the first time such a swirl of supercars had been held in the Middle East. Michael Schumacher won it, as he tended to do. By the completion of the project, the circuit became the center of motorsport in the Persian Gulf, as it held many other races such as drag races, GT races, Formula 3 races, and the Australian V8 supercar series. The event has been staged every year since, with the exception of 2011, when, as the Arab Spring briefly bloomed, the country was engulfed in protest and the race had to be cancelled. 
Questions about human rights abuses in Bahrain persist, but Formula One has returned nonetheless. Another fact, although alcoholic beverages are illegal in Bahrain, the drivers do not spray the traditional champagne on the podium. Instead, they spray a non-alcoholic rose water drink known as Ward. Number 4. It's a glutton for electricity According to statistics released by the International Energy Agency last October, Bahrain is the biggest per capita consumer of electricity in Asia and the third most power thirsty state on the planet behind Iceland and Norway. Just think of all those air conditioning units. Number 5. Bahrain is among the richest countries in the world. Bahrain is among the richest countries in the world based on GDP per capita, with a GDP per capita of $29,146. Bahrain has an open economy. The Bahraini currency is the second highest valued currency in the world. Since the late 20th century, the country has heavily invested in the banking and tourism industries. The country's capital, Manama, is home to many large financial structures. Bahrain's finance industry is also very successful. In 2008, Bahrain was named the world's fastest growing financial center by the City of London's Global Financial Centers Index. Bahrain has the freest economy in the Middle East and North African regions and is the 10th freest economy in the world. An alternative index, published by the Fraser Institute, puts Bahrain in 44th place, tied with seven other countries. Bahrain was recognized by the World Bank as the highest income economy. Ever since it was declared a kingdom, Bahrain has been one of the fastest developing nations and has been identified by the World Bank as a high income economy. Bahrain exports petroleum and petroleum products, textiles and aluminum, while it imports chemicals, machinery and crude oil. The natural resources mainly consist of natural gas, oil, and fish stocks. Number 6. It has no beaches. Bahrain's beaches have been grabbed up by the ruling family or sold to private owners. Less than 5% of the beaches on Bahrain's coastline are open to the public. It seems that only those who are wealthy can enjoy a beach in Bahrain. Number 7. It has a tree that grows with no water source. There is a famous mesquite tree called the Tree of Life, which is 400 years old and stands alone in the deserts of Bahrain. The fact that the water source of the tree is not known attracts a huge number of visitors. No one is truly certain how the tree survives. Scientists have speculated that the nearest possible source of water is an underground stream about two miles away and that the tree is somehow drawing water from that stream. Others say the tree has learned to extract moisture from breezes blowing from the Persian Gulf or squeeze moisture from the grains of sand. And some others claim the tree is standing in what was once the Garden of Eden and so has a more mystical source of water. Number 8. In Bahrain, you can eat a camel burger. Throughout history, the camel has served multiple purposes as food, friend, transport, and war machine. The Arabic language famously has over 40 terms for different breeds, ages, and genders of camel. In Bahrain, there are plenty of restaurants to choose from to get a camel burger, and they're served just like the traditional American hamburger. Number 9. The country has the record for the world's largest coin toss. The world's largest simultaneous coin toss event was organized in the British School of Bahrain by the Guinness Book of World Records. The school's students and staff entered the Guinness Book of World Records when 1,117 of them successfully tossed a 100 field coin at the same time. They obliterated the previous record of 252. Number 10. Michael Jackson lived there. In 2005, Michael Jackson had shelled out $1.5 million for a quarter-acre site on oil-rich Bahrain's Amouage Islands. The affluent island featured top restaurants, a private hospital and school, parks, golf courses, and private boat moorings. While Jackson was generally a reclusive resident of Bahrain, he casually strolled around town. He especially liked the posh Al Sif shopping mall. If you want to learn more about the King of Pop's extravagant life, click in the top right corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Michael Jackson. Number 11. It's actually an archipelago. 
Bahrain is actually an archipelago of 33 islands. The largest, on which many of the residents live, is 55 kilometers long by 18 kilometers wide, and areas such as Citra and Muharraq are actually separate islands. Number 12. Bahrain is one of the few countries in the Middle East where women have the right to vote and vie for elective positions. A new constitution was introduced in 2002, which provided for an elected parliament and gave women the right to vote. The move to give women the vote was a part of several wide-ranging political reforms that have seen the establishment of a democratically elected parliament and the release of political prisoners. Before 2002, women had no political rights and could neither vote in elections nor stand as candidates. Number 13. The Bahrain World Trade Center is the first skyscraper in the world to integrate wind turbines into its design. The wind turbines were developed, built, and installed by Danish company Norwin AS. Each turbine is 29 meters in diameter, and their capacity is 675 kilowatts of wind power production. The wind turbines provide 11 to 15 percent of the tower's total power consumption. This is the equivalent to providing the lighting for about 300 homes, 258 hospitals, 17 industrial plants, and 33 car engines. In fact, back in 2006, the building won the LEAF Award for the best use of technology within a large scheme. Number 14. Bahrain was awarded the Golden Lion In 2010, the kingdom was awarded the Golden Lion for the best national participation at the 12th Venice Architecture Biennale for Reclaim, an investigation into the decline of the island's sea culture, which was the first official national participation of a Gulf state at the event. The Bahrain Urban Research Team were comprised of six young researchers who were responsible for an extensive study which investigated the geographical and urban changes affecting the coastal areas of the island from the 1930s until today, as well as identifying the multiple social, political, and economic factors which contributed to this evolution. Reclaim was the first official national participation of Bahrain. Number 15. Bahrain ranks as one of the safest cities in the world. Manama Bahrain has been chosen as one of the safest cities in the world with comparatively low crime rates according to the latest Quality of Life Index. Bahrain was also rated a safe country with low crime rates by a Quality of Life Index made by Numbeo. Numbeo is the world's largest database of user-contributed data about cities and countries worldwide. The results were based on a total of 1,146 entries in 18 months from 128 different contributors. In the database, safely walking alone during daylight was rated very high in Bahrain, and safely walking alone during the night as high. Crimes including home broken and things stolen, worries being mugged or robbed, and car stolen were rated as low. In healthcare, Bahrain was rated as high, with skill and competency of medical staff, speed in completing examinations and reports, equipment for modern diagnosis and treatment, friendliness and courtesy of the staff, satisfaction with responsiveness in medical situations, and satisfaction with cost receiving a very high rating. Bahrain received an overall quality of life index of 119.05. Now tell us, Aluxers, with Bahrain being one of the safest places in the world, does it make it onto your list of destinations to travel? Let us know down in the comments. And as a reward for sticking with us all the way to the end, of course we have a bonus fact just for you. Rumor has it there are no Bahraini restaurants in Bahrain. Sounds unlikely, but the advice holds true. No matter where you travel in the world, if you want to eat truly authentic food, go to someone's house. That's it for the video guys. I hope you liked this video. There was so much information on this video that I was not aware about it. Uh, only the Bahrain country is only 46 years old and it's called also have the Garden of Eden. It's suspicious to have the Garden of Eden situated in Bahrain. Among the 100 and 174 countries, it is recognized as one of the most safest countries to live. In day or night, you can walk alone without a fear. The first Grand Prix in the Middle East was 
uh, held in Bahrain in 2004. Damn, there's so much information. I'm, I have no information prior to this video. What is Bahrain is all about? I always thought it's like a muddy, not much, not much developed country. But this video has changed my mind. I hope you have learned something new with this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share your feedback in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace out.